Okay, next. Hit. I think anybody would hard press to argue that launching yourself into a tackle in a traditional football style is not very safe at all. In rugby, defense is everything. We do not use our bodies as guards or impacting factors in American rugby. Where American football, they have a potential of using risk compensation. Again, this is a psychological aspect where if you're protected in a certain way, you may feel that you're stronger or capable of using your body as an impacting factor. The football coaches have come to us and they said, we want to learn the rugby style tackle. So we're getting these questions asked us all the time. How can we tackle safer? So we work with the football community on specific techniques and drills. So this training aid is called the hit and drive shield. And football teams use this to emphasize a leverage based shoulder tackle. So when I come in, I have my head here, I am wrapping around and I am tackling with my shoulder. We have been getting orders from college teams and high school teams. In particular, we've gotten an order from University of Miami, the Florida Gators, and Ohio Wesleyan are all using the Rhino training devices. There has been a trend uh, currently to employ rugby tackling style or technique to try to induce an injury prevention. So we've noticed a lot of the football teams now are training without pads, without helmets, without shoulder pads, without leg pads. And that's important because that allows the football player to adopt a specific body technique and rehearse that and repeat that so that it becomes second nature. Because in rugby, there are no pads. There's no false sense of security. I really believe that if the football community were to embrace that style of training, that they also would reduce the number of injuries.